Hello everyone, my name is Sahil Agrawal. I'm a final year undergraduate student at IIT Gandhinagar. I'm also going to join DE Show as a software developer in a few months. For those of you who are watching me for the first time, on this channel I make videos related to DSA preparation, interview preparation and if you guys want to grab any placement or internship offer from a software company, this channel is for you guys. I personally have done a lot of DSA preparation when I was preparing uh, two years back. I faced a lot of problems which I'm sure you guys would be facing. I'm just here to share my learnings and my experiences, what I did wrong, what I did right and what I went through. I'm sure that you guys would be going through the same things. This video is going to be very very informative as this video is about what I call as the playlist hell. So you guys would know that on YouTube there are some good DSA playlists that are available and many people follow these playlists for learning DSA nothing wrong with that. I personally have watched quite a lot of videos on these playlists and to be honest I've learned many things from the videos of certain DSA playlists. I will tell you which playlist I followed but what is important is to watch the videos of these playlists in the correct way because if you think that by watching 250 videos of a playlist you will be able to crack a coding around you will be able to crack a coding interview of a software company that is not going to happen because just by watching the videos you're not learning anything there hasn't been any video on youtube telling you guys that how to watch a playlist because i think 70 to 80 percent of the students rely on these free DSA playlists which are available on YouTube to learn DSA and if you don't know the correct method to watch a, a video to follow a playlist you will not learn anything literally you will waste your time so I am here to tell you the correct method and whatever method I will tell please blindly follow that this is the correct method and you will not regret if you guys find this video helpful do like the video subscribe to the channel for more such informative videos share with your friends and you can comment down any queries or any doubts which you have and I will definitely answer you. So let's say if we pick a specific DSA playlist from YouTube. I know that most of the students tend to follow two playlists. First one is Triverse DSA playlist and other one is Love of Birds DSA playlist. I personally watched a few videos of Strivers playlist. So let's pick Strivers DSA playlist. It has 263 videos and I will tell you the correct method to watch his playlist and extract the maximum output. You guys are following the wrong way. I have received many messages on Instagram, on YouTube comments, on LinkedIn, people asking me doubts related to how to watch a video, whether we should watch the whole video, then uh, we should try to code it down or whether we should first try ourselves and then uh, watch the video. What is the right method? What is the correct way? People say me that we are on the 50th video and now we are forgetting what we learned in the first or the second video. This is a big problem, right? Because if you are devoting four months to your DSA preparation by watching these playlists and at the end, if you are forgetting everything, there is no point, right? So the biggest mistake which you guys are making is that you start a video, watch the video till the end and while you are watching the video, you feel that you are able to understand everything inside the video, right? You are able to understand every DSA concept which has been taught inside the video. And you may be right, you are able to understand everything because the teacher is quite good. But as the video ends, you move on to the next video. You don't code it yourself. This is the biggest mistake which you are making that you watch the first video, then you move on to the second video, then you move on to the third video. Just like this, you watch 20 to 30 videos. And now if I ask you a question from second video or third video, you will not be able to answer because you are just watching the videos like a film. It is mandatory to code every question down because DSA is all about coding. It is about problem solving. It is about logic building. It is not about just knowing the DSA concept and sitting and watching a playlist like a film. So sorry to interrupt you guys, but apart from DSA, some core CSE subjects are also very important when it comes to coding interviews. One of the core CSE subject is object oriented programming. Many questions are asked based on oops in the coding interviews. When I was giving my DSHAW interviews, I was also asked a lot of questions related to oops. And that is why I have come up with my own oops course, which is live right now. You can check out the link, which is in the description. If you feel that the content is good and if this guy is trustworthy, you can trust this person. If this person has some knowledge, you can enroll in that course and learn oops for coding interviews already 24 students have enrolled in the course you can be the next one check out the link in the description and I will be happy to connect with you inside the course many students ask me that 
Is Triver's playlist or Love of Birds playlist enough for placements? Will I get a placement by just watching 250 videos of Triver's playlist or 150 videos of Love of Birds playlist? Oh God, that does not happen, man. These playlists are a good free resource for learning DSA concepts. Please focus on learning. Please understand this thing that no playlist or no paid course can get you placements. Courses and these playlists are designed to make you understand some basic DSA concepts and to make you understand how to solve some basic problems. After completing a paid course or after completing a playlist, you will need to devote three to four months of consistent practice on lead code or on Geeks for Geeks, solve uh, a lot of problems, give contest and that is where you will actually prepare yourself for actual coding rounds and coding interviews and please remember one thing that let's say if you are on the 25th video of a certain playlist now you will start forgetting what you had learned in the first video or in the second video so here revision becomes a very important thing because if you're not revising there's no point in watching the whole playlist. You will forget everything. Literally, you will forget everything, whatever you have learned. So revision is very, very important. I have made a dedicated video on how to revise. I personally had followed this particular revision concept, which I have told in that video. Please go and watch that video. And please, guys, revise when you are, you know, watching a playlist. Don't blindly finish the playlist without revising. You will literally waste your time and you will literally forget everything. I got a LinkedIn message from a guy who told me that I forgot everything because I had not revised. On a daily basis, you need to revise everything. So let's say uh, you are learning dynamic programming and you are following a playlist. Okay, let's say Stiver's playlist. And if you are watching the first DP video of Stiver's playlist, then this is what you should do. Okay, if this is your first DP video, then start the video, watch the video till the end, be attentive and learn every DSA concept which has been taught inside the lecture. Focus on how he has built the logic what dp means and understand everything related to dp in first couple of videos okay in the first couple of videos you don't need to code anything you just need to focus on the lecture and understand the basic dp concept right the basic underlying dp concept on how we break down a big problem into sub problems how we are able to you know build a logic how we think on the basis of recursion right this is all uh, what dp is about now when you're watching the third video you already know the dp concept you already know how to apply dp how to think about dp right how to break a bigger problem into sub problems now when you are watching the third video start the video and in the starting of the video you will see a problem which has been solved in that particular video go into the description and click on the problem link and now try to solve that problem on your own okay after you have tried solving that problem for 25 to 30 minutes then only start watching the video again please don't watch the video until you have tried solving that problem for at least 35 to 30 minutes. If you were able to solve that problem, bravo, well and good. You can watch the video and if you are coming across any new method which driver is telling, then you can note it down in a notepad on Google Docs. Or let's say if you were not able to solve the problem, then obviously you need to watch the whole video and now focus on how he solved the problem, how he coded it down. That is also very important. Okay. And one more thing, if you were not able to solve the problem, let's say, then you will understand the approach which he is following. Now stop the video in middle and now when you know the logic, when you know the approach, try to code it down on your own. Don't see the code which he has coded because one problem is that people know the logic, people know how to approach, but they're not able to translate the logic into code. This is known as implementation problem. This is very important, right? You know what you have in your mind, but if you're not able to translate that into a code, there is no benefit of that, right? You need to translate your logic into code. And after watching the approach, which has been told in the video, try to code it down on your own. If you are able to implement, good. If you're not able to implement, watch the solution which has been given inside the video. So this is the correct method. Okay. So I will again summarize how to watch a video, start the video, go into the description, go uh, click on the problem link, try to solve the problem. If you are able to solve the problem, you can watch the video. If you find a new concept, you can note it down in a notepad. If you're no, if you are not able to solve the problem, you can watch the video up to a certain extent. Stop it. Now you know the approach. Now you need to code it down on your own. If you're able to code it down, well and good. If you're not able to code it down, uh, you can continue watching the video till the end and see how Striver or Lovebird has 
actually coded that problem. If you follow this method for the entire playlist, trust me, you will learn a lot from each video. The method which I've explained in this video is the only method which you need to follow. Okay, this is the right method. This is the method which I personally followed and never ever I got stuck. Never ever I forgot anything. If you and your friend are watching a playlist, if you are following my strategy and if he's not following, you will surely see that you are ahead of him after three months or four months. And also a DSA playlist is not enough. Apart from a DSA playlist, you need to give two contests, at least two contests in a week. One could be a lead code weekly contest, which happens on every Sunday morning, 8 a.m. And another could be a lead code virtual contest, or you can also give a weekly contest, which happens on Code Studio. So these will be two contests in a week. It is my suggestion that please give at least two contests in a week, because if you're just watching a playlist, you will not be able to, you know, crack a coding round. You will be kicked off by the company in the first round itself because you did not have the habit of solving questions under pressure, which can be learned by giving contests. Okay. Uh, so yeah, this was all about the video. We will meet in the next one. Till then, keep learning, keep growing and stay healthy.